Alex Spees. We're in Cordova, Maryland, uh, with uh, my greenhouse production here and uh, on the family farm. Four or five years ago, we started researching something new to do with the greenhouse because the nursery looked like it was coming to an end. So we started researching to find something profitable for the greenhouse. The manufacturer who built my second greenhouse, he and I built a friendship together and he was coming up with ideas, I come up with ideas, and we would bounce them back and forth until we finally, both of us came up with the cucumber idea and we're like, let's give that a whirl. So then we started figuring out what we had to do to the greenhouse to take it from flower production to cucumber production. So we landed last July, we put in the half of the greenhouse in cucumbers and started Nobody in the area has ever done it. Nobody close by. So we everything we had to learn, we had to learn by driving to Canada and finding growers there that would talk to us and tell us how to do it. And until and now we are in one acre production of cucumbers. And well, our, our whole thing was is that the local market was is growing. To have a, something like this, you want to find a niche product that nobody in the area is doing. Well, for like if you go to Whole Foods to get our cucumber, we deliver there twice a week. They're having maybe a two to three day window of since it was picked to when you're buying it at the store. Where if you're getting this same cucumber from, well, the only other market is Canada or Mexico, you're looking at maybe a week, week and a half from pick to store is part of the definition of hydroponics is that all its water and feed comes from the one source all at one time and so we put it into a, a bag system the water and nutrients all comes to it at one time which makes it a hydroponic system rather than planting it outside in the soil and having mother nature help you as long as along with you doing it so we're doing giving it everything except for sunlight we're able to grow in here because we can control the temperatures. We have to have a 70 to 90 degree temperatures to grow an English cucumber. So outside of the greenhouse you can't grow it because the temperatures here only get that for three months at a time where we're having that for 10 months at a time. Uh, it's an English cucumber or European cucumber or seedless cucumber or burpless cucumber, they all those names for the one cucumber, but if you go into the grocery store, it's the one that's always wrapped in plastic individually. And uh, that's because the cucumber is 90% water. So if you put it in your refrigerator without plastic, it'll suck the moisture right out of it and it'll shrivel up. For our market, we have to be 12 to 15 inches long and they want them about a pound a piece each cucumber. So you're talking one cucumber as at one meal for a person and they don't have to eat anything else. <laughs> Take the plastic off, cut them up and eat them. No peeling, no nothing, just straight from plant to mouth. My little girl comes in here, goes to the plant, picks one off and starts eating it just like an apple. <laughs>